Part 2. Noticing what you talk about together. 1. Notice if your partner is always talking about his or her problems. If you can't even remember the last time you shared your deepest fears or doubts with your partner, then you're in hot water. If you feel like your significant other is always the one who is talking, upset, getting comfort, and seeking and getting your love and attention, then you have a problem. It's okay if your partner is having a bad month, but if you feel like there is always something wrong in his or her life, then you may be getting used for emotional support. In a healthy relationship, both partners get to talk about their problems and concerns equally. If you feel like your partner is doing at least 80% of the talking and you're not particularly shy, then you have a problem. If any time you mention yourself, your partner tries to make your problems seem smaller by saying that he or she has it so much worse, then you have a problem. 2. Notice if you never get to share your feelings. If you're afraid to share your feelings because you think your partner will get angry and misunderstand you, or if you don't share your thoughts and feelings because you know your partner won't really listen, then you have a problem. You should feel just as comfortable about sharing your thoughts, fears, and hopes as your partner does. Both people should be able to share in a relationship, and if every time you try to talk about yourself, your partner says he or she is busy or tired, interrupts you and tries to make it all about him or herself, or just gets a glazed look that makes it clear he or she isn't listening, then you are getting used. 3. Notice if there's no such thing as a compromise in your relationship. You're in a parasitic relationship if you feel like, no matter what, your partner always ends up getting exactly what he or she wants. You may find yourself giving in just because it's easier than fighting, because your partner will be mad if he or she doesn't get what he or she is after, or simply because you've convinced yourself that he or she must want it more. In a healthy relationship, partners work together to find a decision that can make them both happy, and take turns giving in to each other. Sure, it's not a big deal to give in on some of the small stuff, like about where to have dinner or what to watch on TV. But this habit can make it easier for you to give in on the big things, like deciding where to move together. 4. Notice if you never hear any words of appreciation. When is the last time you heard your partner say how much you mean to him or her? If you can't even remember, then you may be getting used and taken for granted. Your partner may think it's a given that you know how much he or she loves you and how special you really are, but if your partner really cares about you, then he or she would tell you, not just assume that you know. If you don't even get thanked for all of the favors you're doing, then you are definitely getting taken advantage of. If your partner never compliments you or tells you how nice you look on date night, then you may be being used. 5. Notice if you constantly have to tell your partner how much you love him or her. That's right. Your partner almost never tells you how amazing you are, but you find yourself feeling like you have to say I love you 20 times a day so the person doesn't feel like you're neglecting him or not giving him enough love and affection. If you feel like you have to tell your partner how much you love him, how great he is, and how much you value him 50 times a day just to help him be less needy, then you have a problem. In a healthy relationship, both partners should compliment each other and say I love you around the same amount, and only when they actually mean it.